Next concept uh, here uh, related to the cloud computing stack is the infrastructure. So we know what is the infrastructure. So infrastructure is nothing but the hardware part of the cloud, right? So how the hardware will be managed and all. So most large infrastructure as a service providers rely on virtual machine technology to deliver servers that can run application, right? So that is true, right? So that if we need the infrastructure as a service, we should have a virtualization technique and this virtualization machine when we provision any infrastructure let's say i need some sort of uh, a virtual machine with 1 gb of ram uh, with let's say 40 gb of hard drive and we need let's say two core of cpu so for that the that infrastructure should be provisioned through the through the virtualization technology and virt virtual machine will be used there the virtual servers described in terms of machine image or instance have characteristics that often can be described in terms of real services delivering a certain number of microprocessor, the CPU cycle, memory access, network bandwidth to the customer. So here, when we talk about infrastructure as a service or the infrastructure, so we provide the hardware, right, including the networking part. So the, uh, the about that uh, infrastructure as a service, I already uh, we we already have a uh, 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 number of time we have already discussed on that. So we doesn't have to elaborate that particular sentence right now. Virtual machine are containers that are assigned specific resources, right? So virtual machine is just type of container where we assign specific resources and that resources will be will be requested by a customer the software that run in the virtual machine is that define the utility of the cloud computing system now the software that will run in the virtual machine right so virtual machine has the software right so first we have the guest operating system and we have many application software which will run in the virtual machine Right, and these define as the utility of the cloud computing system. The meaning of utility is they will define the quality of services of, uh, of cloud computing uh, system, like how much time it is going to take for the execution of a request. What are the resources that it will use? Um, can we measure those resources, right? Uh, how how well we can uh, accommodate those uh, uh, resources and we can run those resources. So those are nothing but the utility of related to the cloud computing system. Now here you can you can see uh, uh, the the different component of the cloud computing. Now here, uh, if, if you see this particular diagram, so there is diagram is nothing but the server. The diagram shown the server. Server means, let's say we have a machine, right? So this is a shot of that. In diagram, the API is shown shaded in gray because it is an optional component that is not always delivered with the servers. So this API is there, application program interfaces, uh, which will do the management and uh, sometime we need that and uh, uh, and uh, apart to that particular layer will be the user interfaces. Now here if you'll see the concept of abstraction is there, core connectivity and delivery component is there. Here we have first authentication, security, then we have the communication protocol like TCP IP. And then this core uh, uh, connectivity and delivery component, we have the, the concept of grid or cluster computing. Then we have images, which will be created uh, by the virtualization software. Then we have the virtual machine monitor component. This virtual machine monitor component actually will have the, have the, have the ability to uh, manage all the virtual machines. Then hardware, we know that that we have the computer means your, your uh, uh, memory and your uh, CPU is there, then the networking part is there, and then there is a hardware, right? 
Then what are the facility that we have is uh, HVAC. It is related to your, um, your uh, uh, high ventilation and uh, air condition services. Then we have the power and spaces. So these are the facility means the, the physical facility which will have that particular server on it. So we should have some uninterrupted power supply. Then we have some sort of ventilation and AC services and the spaces will be given. So this is actually defining the server where server is there and a physical server is there. So the VM component in the virtual machine monitoring uh, also known as the hypervisor. So this is also called hypervisor, okay? The VMM is also called hypervisor. This is uh, the large level software that allow different operating system to run in their own memory spaces and management IO for the virtual machine. And now this virtual machine monitor, actually uh, this is also called hypervisor and their uh, duty is to manage one uh, virtual machine. And uh, we have a gas operating system on one virtual machine and that gas operating system under this VMM will manage the hardware which is the which is uh, logically divided for that particular virtual machine.